God, it worked! <sighs> so, I spent the morning freshening up on my editing skills. I've been watching tutorials um, to learn some new techniques um, all morning. So that's why I was inspired just to try that jumping through the wall effect. And there wasn't a tutorial that showed me how to do that. But it looked a lot better in my head than it actually ended up looking. So you're probably wondering, Michael, why are there blueberries on your bed? Why are you cleaning your mattress to rid them of these blueberry stains. Uh, how do you work this thing? In which case I would tell you they're not blueberries stained under my mattress. This is bird poop. So yesterday I moved out of my apartment and strapped it into the bed of the truck and I had a tarp on top of it but the tarp kept blowing off and I stopped several times before getting like an hour out. So eventually I was like, it's not raining. I'll just take the tarp off. It's not worth it. It's not worth pulling over every five minutes. And also I went like 50 miles per hour the whole way home, which it's usually like a three hour drive and it took me about five hours with all the stops. But anyway, so I took the tarp off. Sure enough, um, it got some bird poop on it. Looks like this little birdie had just eating some blueberries. Alright. So, let me bring you over here to my workstation. Now, I've got a couple of packages here. The reason why I have some packages is because I need them for my trip in which I'll be off the grid much of the time. So because I just moved out of my place and I uh, temporarily don't have a job because I'm impulsive and I just quit because I went to adventure, I had to get some gear to ensure that I would stay connected. So what we have right here, these are my batteries for my camera because I'm going to need backups. And I should probably tell you where I'm going. So originally me and my friend Garrett, we're going to go to Yellowstone National Park, because we've just heard it's the absolute best, And uh, but it's gotten so cold there that earlier this week, um, they actually got a significant amount of snow, and I looked on their website and they're starting to close down some of the major roads to some of the um, biggest points of interest in the park. And I also heard, read that whenever it gets colder out and snowier out, that the colors in the hot springs aren't as vivid. So, if we're going to Yellowstone, I want to do that right, because supposedly that's the best national park in the U.S. Now, we decided that we're going to go to Colorado, at least for the time being, that's our game plan. We want to hit all the national parks there, so Rocky Mountain National Park, um, the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, and then Great Sand Dunes National Park. So there's another one that's Mesa Verde. I think I said that right. But it's more of like a historic national park um, that, will sh that shows off how the ancient Puebloan people uh, like lived in the side of this mountain. I don't really know much about it, but we might skip that. So about... Ten months ago, I went and hit all the national parks in Utah. So we did the big five national parks, me and my friend Drew. We went to Capitol Reef, Canyonlands, Arches, um, Zion, and what was the other one? Oh, uh, Bryce Canyon. So that, those were absolutely incredible. I really was not expecting Bryce Canyon to be as amazing as it was. Arches and Canyon Lanes was about what I expected and uh, Zion is probably tied for first out of my favorite national parks I've been to so far along with Yosemite. So how I would explain it is Yosemite it feels like you're in a prehistoric time in like a cooler climate and then Zion it feels like you're in a prehistoric time with dinosaurs roaming around and whatnot in a 
dry or desert climate. I had finished recording this video and I forgot to mention that if you want to watch uh, my trip to the national parks in Utah, I filmed at every park out there and I have a playlist called Utah Adventure, link in the description. This time around, me and my friend, we're gonna go to Colorado, hit all the national parks there. My goal is to make it to all 59 national parks in my life. So right now I'm at like 13. I got a long way to go. So that's why I got some extra batteries. I need to make sure that I'm all stocked up because we're gonna be without internet um, and electricity for a while out there because we're going to be camping most places that we're out there every chance that we can get. So I got battery pack. And then this should be my, I got a portable charger. Because I need to film stuff. Make sure that my phones are charged up and whatnot. So. Yep, here it is. I got this portable charger. Supposedly it can charge, it's the Anchor PowerCore external 20,100 mAh. Um, yeah, it just said that it could charge an iPhone 7 like eight times and it had good reviews on Amazon, so I was sold. I don't know when I'll be able to get these videos pushed out, but I really want them to be very good. So I'll probably spend some time on them. Maybe I'll just film all of our activities out there and then come back put them all together but oh by the way there's a horse in the background my mom she loves horses and this was an antique from a carousel it's like I don't know yeah if you're wondering why that's there break, 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 break,